What's up YouTube? Murphy Firearms Training here with the Glock 26 and we got a couple of ammos we're going to test today. We're going to start test number one is the Winchester Silver Tip. This is a 9mm. It is a 147 grain jacketed hollow point. So normally 115, 124. It's the first time I've come across some 147s that I wanted to try. And here on the box, it says it has a muzzle velocity of 1,010 feet per second. Muzzle velocity 1,010, 5 yards 1,005, and 25 yards 985. So, Winchester Silver Tip 147 grain. This is a three-part test like we always do. The first is feed and accuracy. We're going to fire five shots at seven yards, see what the group looks like. The second test is five shots through the chronograph. We'll get an average velocity. Put that in the comments of the video. And then the third is the water jug test. So we're going to get everything set up. We're going to give this a go, and we're going to see what we can do. Start off with the accuracy test. All right, guys. Here is our accuracy test. Again, we're shooting this out of the Glock 26 because we want to test this out of a short-barreled firearm, not a 4.5, not a 5-inch barrel. The Glock is a 3.2-inch barrel, so we're looking for that short, short-barreled accuracy and velocity. We're also see if it'll mushroom out of that short barrel. So, here we go, five-shot accuracy and function test. I'm shooting my top left target. We'll go down range and see what we got. Here we go. We are clear. Let's go down range and see what we got. All right, guys, here's our target from seven yards. Here's my last three. Here's my first two. Uh, I don't feel like I changed my point of aim or my point of impact. I can cover all five of those shots with my palm. At seven yards, I feel like that's good. Uh, not sure how I shot two touching and then shot three touching, you know, with a two and a half, three inch gap between them. Um, hmm, I don't know. I don't want to say it was me. I felt like I lined up all the sights in the same spot every time. This was my point of aim. Like I said, my last three from the Glock 26. I mean, it's as good on your point of aim as you can get. But overall, I feel like it's good. They functioned fine. The recoil was not uh, really any different than shooting my practice ammo, which is 115 grain standard pressure. So uh, recoil felt fine. Maybe just a hair stouter, but nothing... Like, nothing that would alarm you if you didn't practice with that weight ammo all the time. Fed well in the Glock, ran fine. Um, so we're up for our next test, which is the chronograph. All right, guys. Chronograph test, five shots. This is the 147-grain Winchester silver tip. Advertised velocity just over 1,000. Let's see what we can get out of this short barrel out of this Glock 26. Chronograph set up at three yards. Here we go. 923 6.58 6.09 6.63 And 655, we are clear. Uh, that seems very, very, very slow compared to the published velocity. Um, we'll crunch numbers and see. We got one that was in the nines, and it looked like four was in the sixes. So, anyway, we're going to stop here and we're going to set up the water jug test. All right, guys, we are set up. We're at about three yards for the water jug test. Moved away from our shooting bench a little bit just to. Uh, Keep from stuff getting wet. Here we go with the Glock 26 short barrel and the Winchester silver tip. Let's see what we get. All right. We are clear. 
Let's grab the camera and let's see the after effect here. All right, here is the let's zoom out. So the first hit was a little high. We are shooting downhill though. The first hit was a little high. Uh, split the jug open. A lot of damage. Did real well. Second hit is here. Split it open. Again, a little high, but split the jug open. Um, nice, nice effect. Exit wound here. Toss that. Third one hit here. And exited here. Okay, so we got uh, in and out, in and out, in and out. A little high. Not exceptionally happy with that hit, but it is what it is. Um, into the fourth. Definitely not out of the fourth. So let's uh, see what we got here. And I think, yep, there it is in the corner. So we're going to give this a pour and make a little mud. Okay. So there is our expanded hollow point. We'll set that down and change our zoom a little. There is our expanded hollow point. Lots of petals sheared back. Uh, looks like it shed some lead. It's an interesting looking core there. Looks like a real soft lead alloy. Um, definitely a lot of petals peeled back. A lot of, lot of interesting expansion. Um, it's a little angled, not flat. Again, we were shooting downhill, so... Um, and we'll do a wrap-up video, guys, where we get expansion and weight retention. But that is the expanded projectile on the Winchester Silver Tip 147 grain. Did penetrate into the fourth jug, so pretty good penetration. Uh, not a huge splash, but, but definitely, uh, definitely a good penetrator, which you expect from a heavier round. So there we go. That is test number one for today, and we're going to set up for the next one.